everyone and welcome back to another great eShop deals video. Now the new year sale might be over on the Nintendo Switch eShop, but there are still tons of great games to pick up. Now the upside sometimes to not having those huge sales is that right now the indie titles are really shining and taking their spot on their Nintendo Switch eShop. And on top of that, again this week, the list is going to be filled with budget titles, with most of the games being under $10 and even a significant portion of them being under the $5 mark. Now, as we go through the video, don't forget that if you like what you see, please do hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. And at the same time, if you're not subscribed to the channel, why not do so? Now, the first game on our list is going to be a suggestion that I normally never do, and that is pre-order a game. Because I actually haven't played this game yet, Cyber Shadow, but the only reason why I would point out that it might be a good idea for some of you out there to pre-order this game is that it's made by Yacht Club Games, which basically made the whole Shovel Knight series. And this looks like their spin on the Ninja Gaiden series. It was also featured in an indie direct. Normally, games that are featured in Indie Direct always turn out to be quality games. And normally, if this game becomes as much of a hit as I believe it will, I don't think we're going to see a sale on this game for quite a while. So I myself pre-ordered this game, I took the leap, I took the chance, because I trust that Cyber Shadow is going to deliver on its product. And right now, getting 25% off, to me, was a fair deal at $14.99, I would take a chance on this game. However, warning to all of you, I haven't played it yet. I'm not guaranteeing you that this is a good game. It's just something in this week's sales that I would keep an eye on. Now, however, let's flip to the games that I have played and that I am sure are a decent pickup. The first one is going to be the Panzer Dragoon remake, which currently is 75% off, making it only $6.24. Now, Panzer Dragoon remake currently this week is my top choice. If you don't know what to pick up and you want to take a chance on my game, this is the one I would go for. Panzer Dragoon is basically an on the rails shooter where you're riding on the back of a dragon and you have to basically fire through waves and waves of enemies while controlling your dragon around obstacles. It was one of the best hits from the Sega era. And honestly, the remake is done with quality and really, really a lot of care. So honestly, this is an amazing pickup. Now, the next game I want to suggest is a classic 90s style JRPG, and that is Le Grand Legacy. Now, at 90% off, that, that number is real, 90% at only $1.99, you get a ton of gameplay hours for an extremely low price. The only thing I want to warn about this is that this is a very slow starting JRPG. However, once it gets going, it is a quality and fun JRPG to play through. So if you're a fan of old school 90s JRPGs, this is a great one to pick up. Now the next game on the list is once again only $1.99 and that is Blazing Beaks, which is currently 86% off. And this is one of my favorite twin stick shooters on the Nintendo Switch. Number one, the graphics are funny, clear, and really, really appealing. The gameplay is awesome in this game. And for only $2, this is an amazing experience. If you want another great value title for the money, Blazing Beaks is going to give you hours and hours of gameplay for only $1.99. So next, we're going to talk about one of the Resident Evil games. Now, currently, the whole Resident Evil series is on sale for different percentages. However, the ones I really want to focus on today is Resident Evil Revelations and Resident Evil Revelations 2. Why? Because first of all, these are some of the games with the best sales. Currently, Revelations 2 is 60% off for only $7.99 but also because I think that these are the two games that you get the most out of playing them on the Switch. Since they were originally released for the 3DS, the upgrade to the Switch really gives you an overall better experience between these two games. And especially Revelations 1 is actually one of my favorite Resident Evil games before we talk about the modern era or the remakes. And basically, if you haven't experienced them yet, I would definitely pick these up as long as you're into the horror survival genre. 
Now, the next game we're going to be looking at is going to be Ghoul Boy. Now, Ghoul Boy is currently only $1.99 because it is 80% off. And this is a 2D side-scrolling action platformer. And as I said, the last time I talked about Ghoul Boy, this is what I would call a safe choice for anyone who likes 2D side-scrolling platformers because it has a little bit of everything, it's very well done, and it's just a ton of fun. So if you're looking for a new 2D side-scrolling platformer that is a decent difficulty without going extreme, Ghoul Boy is an excellent choice, and at only $1.99, it's almost impossible to go wrong with this one. So next, we have the second Resident Evil game that I said we wanted to focus on, which was the original Resident Evil Revelations. It's also 60% off for only $7.99, and as I said, out of the two Revelation games, this is actually my overall favorite. It really is done like an old school Resident Evil game. It was originally on the 3DS and like I said earlier, the port to the Switch really does it a ton and ton of good. So if you like Resident Evil, try this one out. I'd be surprised you would be disappointed. Now the next game on my list is also another game that is going to be only $1.99 and that is Goblin Sword, which is currently 60% off. This is another 2D platformer Although this one has a pretty interesting premise, it really revolves around a lot the weapon you're going to choose to play through the stages with. And it has a ton of ton of replay value because the game itself isn't that that long, but playing through it with a different sword or a different weapon will change totally, totally your experience. And overall, Goblin Sword, I had a ton and ton of fun playing through this one. So this is another really cheap 2D platformer that if you don't know what to play currently is an easy, easy pickup. Now the next game I want to look at is Fury Unleashed. Now Fury Unleashed is a rogue light type game, so it'll be procedurally generated, each run will be very different, and to me it really gives off serious Contra vibes. It's like Contra meets a roguelike style of gameplay. Honestly, however, the only thing I want to warn you about this game is the difficulty level is very high. So to before you try or decide to purchase this game, make sure you're in it for the long haul because it's going to be taking a lot and lot of failure at the beginning before you get used to the game and you actually manage to progress in a significant fashion. But if you're ready for a challenge, Fury Unleashed is probably going to be one of your best pickups for this week. Now the next game on my list, I am including on the list just because it's a game that I love so much, and that is Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. That is currently 50% off for $19.99, making it probably one of the most expensive games I'm going to include on today's list. The only thing I want to say about this game is not that there's any warning about the game itself, it's that I've already seen it at a significantly cheaper price. I've already seen it up to 80% off, like clearly under $10. However, right now we're getting 50% off. This game is still worth it. I just want to make sure that if you do decide to pick it up, you don't feel bad if in a month or two a bigger sale comes around and it comes out cheaper. Because as I said earlier, I've already seen it cheaper. But basically this is a 2D platformer with a slight metroidvania type style gameplay where you get to change into different animals giving you access to new parts of the map and go further and further in the stages but overall i had to talk about this game because every time it's on sale it's always on my list because it is overall on the switch currently one of my all-time favorite 2d platformers so monster boy in the cursed kingdom is worth the 20 dollars it's just that be ready because sometimes it does go on sale cheaper than this. Now the next game pack that I'm going to be suggesting, even though it's $13.99, when you calculate per game is amazing value, that is the double pack of Valferis and Slain that is currently 65% off for only $13.99. Now it's pretty crazy because normally both these games when they're on sale are games that I suggest you pick up. And right now, having them combined in a pack so that they're even cheaper, coming out at only about $7 per game, is an amazing value. Basically, they are two side-scrolling 2D games. However, 
One is a shooter, the other one is melee combat, meaning that you get the best of both worlds in this double pack. And honestly, Val Ferris is one of my overall favorite 2D shooters. Slain is a very solid melee 2D fighter as well. And both of them have some amazing heart-pounding soundtracks. So honestly, right now, the fact that they're, the double pack is on sale like this is an amazing time to get these games. Now, the next game I want to talk about is Blossom Tales The Sleeping King. Currently, it is 75% off for only $7.49. And this is about as close as you can get to an old school Zelda experience without actually playing a Zelda game. It is more along the lines, I would say, of a Minish Cap than a uh, Link to the Past. But at the same time, the action gameplay is there. The gameplay is tons of fun, although it's fairly shorter than your average Zelda game. But nonetheless, if you like old school top down Zeldas, Blossom Tales is a definite pickup. And I want to thank one of my viewers because the only reason I tried this game is because it was suggested by someone in a previous video and I fell in love with this game right away. Now, the next game I want to look at is another double pack of games that I normally suggest separately. That is the double pack of Onikin and Odalis. Now, both these games are currently in a pack on sale for 75% off for only $4.99 for both games. This is an amazing pickup once again for old school 2D side scrollers. Odalis is basically sort of like a Castlevania with slight RPG elements thrown in, sort of like a halfway point between the old Castlevanias and the new Metroidvania style Castlevanias. And Onikin is just a old school 2D action platformer that is sort of, I would say, closest one I could compare it to would be a Ninja Gaiden style, although very lightly. But overall, for $5 for two amazing side scrollers, this is crazy value once again. Now we have two games left on our list, and the first one of those two games I want to take a look at is Robonauts. That is currently 50% off at only $1.99. Now this is a new take on a twin stick shooter. It has some amazing vibrant graphics and it also throws in some platforming elements. Basically you play a robot that jumps from planet to planet in different stages and just a ton of shooting fun. This game isn't super super deep and isn't going to take you too too long to complete but at the same time for $1.99 it's an amazing experience. And right now, there is even a free downloadable demo. So if you want to take the time to try it out first, download the demo and see if it's a type of game that you're going to like. So now we get to the last, but definitely not the least game on our list, which is Metalloid Origins, which is currently 50% off, dropping the price to only $3.49. Now this is a 2D platforming shooter with very, very serious Mega Man vibes. The game is shorter, once again, than your average Mega Man, but then again, it has three swappable characters, and I would place the graphics somewhere, I would say, around the Mega Man X-type series. There's also some ride stages where basically you are on a different vehicles, so the gameplay does flip around based on the stages. This is an excellent pick for anyone who is loves and all has already played through every Mega Man existing. If you want a new experience, Metalloid Origin will not disappoint. So that's pretty much it for this week's list of great eShop deals. As usual, I really want to know what you all think about this list. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Any suggestions for games to try out that maybe I missed on the list? Please leave them down below. If I can, I'll try them out and include them in future lists. Now, as usual, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video because it really does help out a lot. Also, subscribe to the channel so you know when all my content comes out. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.